Hi, I'm Julian, and today we're looking at the subject of the cross and failure, and that's from Graham Tomlin's book, uh, Looking Through the Cross, which has been our Lent book. And today's passage is uh, from Matthew chapter 11. It says this, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. But from a different version, from the message, it says this, Are you tired? Are you worn out? Burdened out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. There's probably very few of us who haven't had some sense of failure in our lives. Uh, sometimes it's uh, a fear of people finding out what our failure is, hiding things behind us. In the Bible we hear about Peter, and throughout Peter's life it's one long story of potential failure. He tries to get out of the boat and follow in Jesus' steps walking on the water, but he sinks. He's potentially failed. When Jesus and uh, some of his closest disciples go away, Peter totally misses the point when Jesus says uh, the things that he says in that group and Peter is pushing himself forward he's got ambition and we kind of looked at that a little bit uh, in the last few uh, videos and then at the very end of Jesus's life what does Peter say I'm never going to let you down Jesus I'm going to be right there beside you and all the way through the three times Peter says I don't know him I didn't know him and then we see the cock crow at the end of that period and Peter then slinks away, failure written on his features. He goes back to Galilee. And then what happens? He meets Jesus again. And we find a very poignant dialogue take place. Jesus says to him, Peter, do you love me? Three times Jesus says, do you love me? And Peter comes to a point of realising that despite who he is, despite his rejection, he does love Jesus, but more important than that, Jesus loves Peter. And for all of us, failure isn't about falling down, it's about getting up. It's about recognising what we can learn from that failure. And that was the case for Peter. The Bible says that God knew us before we were even born. Jesus doesn't have any surprises about when we failure, fail. He knows that we're going to fail, but he reaches out to us in love. He reaches out, he's looking for the failures because he wants to complete us. He wants to give us that life in all its fullness. A little bit like the Bible passage that we just read talks about. He wants us to come to him because in him we can find that completeness and we don't have to have any fear of failure. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that you know exactly who we are. We thank you that you already know about all our failures, but yet you still reach out to us in love. And Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus at this time of Easter to be the final sacrifice that we can accept and through which we can have fullness of life. Amen.